We've been waiting for a Stargate video game pretty much forever. Stargate SG-1 The Alliance was cancelled while it was still in development, and then came Stargate Worlds. That was going to be a massively multiplayer online role-playing game. That was also cancelled while it was still in development. Elements of that game ended up being released as Stargate Resistance, which was an online game. It only lasted for about 11 months before the server went offline. Well, now this year in 2022, we have Stargate Timekeepers. Timekeepers is a real-time tactics game developed by Creative Forge Games and published by Slytherin. And it looks like it actually is going to get published this year. And in a recent live stream, Slytherin revealed the first look at the gameplay footage. So I want to show that to you here and then get your thoughts on it down in the comments below. It's important, I think, to put this in a bit of context. Stargate Timekeepers is the first video game that we're going to get in the Stargate franchise in a very long time. Stargate fans, especially those who are also gamers, have been waiting for something. And Worlds was such a, a loss to the community that it's tough not to compare the new game to what we didn't get more than a decade ago. So what I would encourage you to do is take Stargate Timekeepers for what it is and not for what it isn't. Hopefully if it's successful, then we'll get more different kinds of games, but this is a really specific game. It's a PC, desktop-based, real-time tactics game. So it's not a third-person shooter, it's not a sprawling adventure, it's a specific thing with a specific story and with some new characters that are gonna let you play around in the Stargate universe in the context of a desktop strategy game. So I recognize it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but this is what we get. This is the first look, and this is not the only look, of course. There's going to be more to the game than what was showed off a couple of weeks ago, but this is what it looks like. The story of Stargate Timekeepers is set after Season 7 of Stargate SG-1. In fact, it takes its start. The first level is during the Battle of Antarctica, or rather right after the Battle of Antarctica in the seventh season finale, Lost City. So there's been this big battle between Earth ships, the first F-302s versus Goa'uld Death Gliders and bombers. And you're going to pick up here in the first level, this ice world is actually Earth. This is Antarctica. And you're playing in the wreckage of that battle. Timekeepers is going to have 14 levels, 14 different missions that are filled with story, and that's what we don't get here in this initial reveal is much of any of the story. So there's going to be a Stargate storyline, there's going to be dialogue, there's going to be new original characters that hold together the world that you're seeing here. So if it looks a little bare bones, take it for what it is. It's an initial look at some gameplay footage. I certainly hope that there's more to Stargate Timekeepers than what we're seeing in these first two levels. The second level is a forest planet. It's actually one that we know from the show. It's the planet Hakteel, which is the home of Ishta's female Jaffa resistance movement. What I would really love to see from a real-time tactics game is not just movement from point A to point B through a static level, but maybe even controlling some armies, controlling some ships in combat. Slytherin has published games like that for other properties. Battlestar Galactica Deadlock had combat in outer space. I'd love to see something like that for Stargate. I'm not sure yet if it's going to happen in this title. Because this first look, at these first two levels, the game really does look fairly straightforward and fairly simple. You're controlling a team of characters, an SG team, as they move from the beginning of the level to the end. And again, there's story elements here to dress this up. It's not just, how do I get past this Jaffa? At least, I hope it's not. But how do I think creatively and tactically and use my assets and eventually, as I unlock different team members, how do I use their unique skill sets to play through the level and maybe do something differently this time than on my last playthrough? So you start out the game as Commander Eva McCain from the SGC. They're helping SG-1 against the Anubis fleet. Eventually, you're going to unlock other characters from McCain's team. 
So she is really good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, at stealth. We can see some of that here in the footage. Sneaking around in the tall grass, staying out of the eyesight of the Jaffa, lets her sneak around and past them, sometimes sneak up behind them and execute a kill. You'll also be able to unlock a character who is a sniper, who can climb difficult surfaces. There's another character who's an expert in alien technology. And finally, a scientist on the team controls a series of drones, which you can use to execute different tasks, like healing allies in the field. There's also a couple of alien characters who are going to be unlockable, a Jaffa rebel, and an Unas. This was presented by Slytherin and the game's senior producer, Neil McKenna, who said that Stargate Timekeeper's 14 levels are each very large. They'll probably take on average more than an hour for an experienced player to play through a single level. So it looks like there is a good amount of content here, and we're still waiting for the rest of the story. Of course, the gameplay is just one element of what Timekeepers is going to end up being. The story is that the team is fighting against a new Goa'uld, whose name is Dolus, and they end up getting stuck in a time loop. That's a cool story idea, right? It's a great sci-fi conceit, but it also potentially lends itself really well to this kind of gameplay because you unlock things, you unlock new characters, for example, who have different abilities, and then you can rewind and replay a level and do things that you couldn't do before. So great replayability. That's what I'm hoping for. Slytherin and Creative Forge say that they're hoping for beta testing this spring, with a release of this game possible for this summer. Stargate Timekeepers has a page on Steam where you can wishlist the game right now, and also stick with GateWorld for the very latest on this and hopefully more Stargate video game releases in the future.